Today's guest is Shekena Glory. Shekena Glory is a co-founder of Touch Tech. Shekena and I spoke on the importance of being an entrepreneur. Shekena spoke on a lot of things such as the do's and don'ts of an entrepreneur. Can everyone be an entrepreneur? And more. All this starts right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Alice of Scott Entertainment presents The Street with Alice of Scott. Fun moments with Alice F. Scott. Inspirations with Alice F. Scott. Conversation with Alice F. Scott. All these and more on Alice F. Scott Entertainment Channel. Hi Shekena, welcome to Inspiration with Alice F. Scott. It's a pleasure having you in the studio with me today. Thank you for inviting me. All right Shekena, you are the co-founder of Touch Tech. So tell us more about Touch Tech. What's Touch Tech all about? Um, so, TouchTech is a fintech company. Um, it's one of the newer, you know, the, the new, the new industries that came about. TouchTech is basically financial or uh, payment or payment authentication. So, what we do is we help banks to find the best way to authenticate an individual, trying to balance that, um, that uh, balance the difference between security and usability. So, you think you see stuff like verify by Visa online when you want to pay for something that is very uh, almost unusable and cumbersome. So what we're trying to help banks do is to get a better user experience while maintaining the same level or a better security. Wow, that's that's really amazing. Yeah. So when did this start? This two thousand well late two thousand and thirteen is when we started working on the idea. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, about f four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. So you are the co-founder. So how many other people are in this business, or how many people started this business? So it started off with uh, two of us, me and my co-founder at the time, Joseph. Okay. And then a year later, we raised some money, and then we hired some some other people who now make up our core team. Oh, that's yeah. amazing! It's an amazing concept. So yeah. how did we get the idea? So what it is now isn't what it was when it started. Not not necessarily, not completely. Okay. Aspects of it are the same, but what it is now isn't exactly what it was when it started. But okay. and at the time. And uh, me and my friend were tr we're basically looking for ideas. We're, we're trying to figure out what we could do. So every Wednesday from three to seven o'clock, we'd stay in the Trinity classrooms in the computer science building and just brainstorm. Wow. Until one day, uh, I go home and text me on Facebook and he tells me I tapped my card off the back of my phone. I said, okay. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he said, it made a noise. I was like, okay. Yeah. NFC and then near field communication, this the, the new contact this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, contact um, this, yeah. And I was like, what if you could pay online like this? I was like, okay, oh. that could work. So we explored that concept, that idea, and see where the value laid in that, you know, in in, in that little concept. Right, yeah. And then we built on it over a period of time, and then, you know. Wow! Wow! Yes. That's nice. I literally need to meet this your friend as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys going to integrate into all that areas as well? Yeah, yeah, we have a few products that we're working on that is slightly outside this, okay. still inside the you know authentication ease of use um, space. But yeah, we're, there's also looking towards yeah. in the future. Well, right now though, it is just we're just uh, preparing some other products, but it's okay. only deal for now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So what was the motivation that drove you to become an entrepreneur? Because a lot of people might say, oh, I want to work for someone, it's easier doing the 9 to 5. But there's some people that want to become an entrepreneur. But for you, what drove you to become an entrepreneur? Or you just like the concept of working for someone? I'll tell you exactly what happened. So I, so I, I did this when I was 18 and I hadn't had a job before then. I was a musician. Oh, okay. So, so growing up in my teens and in the summers, I just played music, teach, uh, I taught kids how to, how to how play to music. Play music. Okay. So I didn't need a job, I just made money off that. Okay. Um, when I was 16, I read Rich Dad Poor Dad by yeah. Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah. And that blew my mind. I was like... A lot of things changed. Yeah, before that, I was meant to be a doctor. And I was like, forget that. I'm going to go make money. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I think it was just after my leaving cert, I then watched the social network, okay. the, uh, the Facebook movie. The, yeah. the movie about uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark, yeah. and then I was like, yeah. <laughs> so just two confirmations. Yeah, so I'm like, now, now I have to make money. Okay. Uh, and then I made the, my my co-founder Joseph watch it, and he's like, look, I'm finished my leaving this year. We're going to do something. And then yeah, that's that's what drove me to that. So I, I wanted to make money. 
Okay, so uh, for the onset, it's just the money. So does money that drive you to become an entrepreneur? Yeah, I wanted to. Yeah, yeah no, it's just it's just um you you grew up looking at um uh, magazines and pictures of Ferraris. And yeah. Coming up. If you're not confident in yourself to execute, people won't be confident in you. Yes. And you won't get what you need from them to yeah. move forward. Plus. Yeah, ideas are cheap. All the value, where the value lies is in execution. Yeah. And thinking isn't doing, and doing is all that matters. So. That's good. Plus, before you go, you want to sing for us because you've seen something about music all the time. Uh, well, being an entrepreneur is not easy because there are lots of ups and downs. And talking about ups and downs, definitely the journey wasn't smooth. No, no. So, <laughs> what kept you going even when the journey wasn't smooth? And you say it's like when you were 18. Yeah. Right? So, definitely. At 18, if it wasn't working, you were like, okay, bye. I'm just going to focus on something else and try to make money out of that thing. So what's kept you going even when this was hard? I want to say I was naive. Not naive. Okay. I want to say I, was, I feel like I was naive, but very confident. I didn't, I, didn't think, I didn't think problems were real issues. I think they were just, Things, you know, they yeah. were just obstacles. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, can, you jump over an obstacle. Yeah. So I just thought, oh, well, it's a problem. I'll fix it. Okay. Right. How do I fix it? You know, that's, that's all. It was just basically, I was, my mind is problem solver. Oh. You have a problem, fix it. If you can't fix it, well, find a way around it. Yeah. Know? What about those that are not really confident? Because you say you're really confident. Mm -hmm. What about those that are, not, that are not really confident in themselves? So what, what kind of advice would you give to them when they are going through that journey that is not smooth at the moment? Uh, read Napoleon, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. It's, it's, there isn't much you can do without confidence. People. People smell a lot of you. They need because as actually no, in every in, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're in, in work, anything, you're constantly selling. Right. So the, your whole career is is the art of selling. You're selling an idea. You're selling yourself. Um, when someone is investing in you, there's you're selling your your credibility, your yeah. ability to them. The 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 idea is almost secondary to to your ability to execute, okay. and that's what investors care about. That's what um. That's what your boss would care about if you if you pitch him an idea if you if you know so if you're not confident in yourself to execute people won't be confident in you yes. and you won't get what you need from them to yeah. move forward so without confidence you know you that is it's almost the foundation of of selling you need to be confident in what you're giving for yeah. someone to take it off you so confidence okay so what are the do's and the don'ts of an to become an entrepreneur yeah. do grow a valuable network okay. Um, Network is everything. I mean, yeah, okay. network, network, network is almost almost everything. Yeah. It just is like my my network is so valuable to me because like every every time I have an issue, you have someone. It, 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 it's because I can't fix it myself. Okay. <laughs> you know, so I have to find someone. All right. So yeah, your network is very valuable. Everybody you meet, every relationship you ever come across, every engagement you're in is is something that you must cherish and something that you must treat with absolute with absolute delicacy. So and never to. never leave a sour taste in anybody in anybody's mouth uh, <laughs> because you know you never know you might need them yeah and that's that is the truth okay, I used to think right. that I used to think that um oh, look I'll, I'll never need this person yeah I did <laughs> yeah you know, that's 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 the most important thing is go a very valuable network and you know uh, make sure that you're not you know you're not uh, you don't leave any bad taste in anyone's mouth yeah and uh, the other thing was um thinking isn't doing and doing is all that matters okay. um. You can, you can, ideas are cheap, you know, what's good, the, the best, the best thing you can do if you want to make money is find an idea that is working in another country and I'm bring it getting. here and do it. Yeah. The value there is the execution in a proven idea. Ideas are cheap, all the value, where the value lies is in execution. Yeah. And thinking isn't doing, and doing is all that matters. So, that's good. yeah, <laughs> yeah, this, this. yeah that, that's good. So, um, can everyone be an entrepreneur? No. No. No, it's not for everybody. But you know, we've been told that you should be your own boss. Like literally, that's what everybody's telling. Like your friends, you have to be your own boss. You have to start something, think big, think of ideas. So, mm. why are they saying this to everybody when everybody can be an entrepreneur? Because not everybody can think big, <laughs> and not every, and not, not everyone is self-aware enough to do what. To, no, not everyone is self-aware enough. To be an entrepreneur, okay, because you need to understand your shortcomings. Um, one of the one of the one of the most important things I realized is that understanding where 
issues were my fault. Okay. Uh, uh, most people blame their sh failures to external factors. Mm, yeah. You must be very self-aware, understand where your limitations lie, and know what you need to do. So most people don't know enough to know that they don't know enough. Yeah. So you should know enough to know that you don't know enough, so you can do the right things, things. accordingly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think everyone is. Uh, everyone is cut out to be an entrepreneur because not everyone is self-aware enough. Yeah. In a way, it's tough. You're talking more of like. At first, why you started because you wanted to make money at the age of 18. So, do you think making money is the major reason why people want to become an entrepreneur? At the moment, like having a startup is cool. Um, so, you know, some people do it because you see the Mark Zuckerberg story and like, I want, I want to do that. Not everybody wants to, people are different, people have yeah. different motivations. I did it because at the time I wanted to make money. Um, other people will do it because you know they've been working for 15 years. They're tired of having yep. a boss. They want to. They want to be their own boss. They see a market opportunity, but they want to exploit it. They can't do it in the current situation. Yeah. You know, it depends on diff different people have different depends. reasons. Yeah. My reason at that time I was, was <laughs> I wanted to make money. You know? Okay, that was that was really interesting. And do you have any advice to give to anybody? that wants to become an entrepreneur. I know we've talked, spoken about the do's and the don'ts, but do you have one advice from your own experience that you say, this is it, um, you have to become an entrepreneur? Um, one, understand the market you're trying to enter. Uh, make sure you understand the market, understand your cli clients, and make sure that you're not deceiving yourself on the market opportunity. Research as much as you can about, about that um, about the market opportunity okay. you think you've uh, identified because uh, not every day not every idea is great yeah um grow a good network make sure make sure you understand how ex how to execute what you've decided to do and uh, you know try not to procrastinate yes um, you know and always make always make good on your word yeah, yeah. That's, that's good and thank you very much Shekina. I want yeah. to, before I close one thing that go was like network you really need to network so don't feel like if I don't need this particular person never can tell you can and also it's not everybody that can be an entrepreneur you know we've gotten this notion that you all should be our own boss but you can be working for the other person <laughs> so before I go there's something I always do on the show so what do you do for fun if you're not work or if you're not Thinking of what next to do in your business. Oh, I play music or I read. Actually, yeah. no, I don't read that much. <laughs> Not anymore. No, okay. Um, I mostly play music because I have right. a band uh, and uh, watch YouTube videos. You watch videos? Yeah, music videos. They, okay. they make all those like science related music, uh, YouTube, YouTube videos. YouTube videos. But most of my time is music. Alright. Yeah, most of my time is music. Music. Right, thank you very much, checking no out. But before you go, you want to sing for us because you've seen something about music all the time. Uh, I'm not a singer. I'm a keyboardist. So oh, I, you I, are. Yeah, I'm a super uh, silly. Um, all right, no problem. I'm, I'm not a singer. I, even if I could sing, I don't think this is the time for me to. Uh, to sing. Yeah, not for the first I can, time. I can hit something. Oh no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Give me a keyboard and I'll show you something. But uh, we don't have uh, any keyboard in well, the studio here that's now. That's good. That's good. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys are inspired by this. I hope Shekena inspired you all. If you want to become an entrepreneur, you need to network. Don't just be in your house thinking that you can be an entrepreneur. You need to go outside and network. That was something I got from this and I hope you guys were inspired. Thank you very much guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time on Inspiration with Alice Scott. Bye. Hi everyone. If you enjoyed that video you just watched, all you have to do is to click the subscribe button below so you miss out on any of my videos. The Street with Alice Scott, Formal Match with Alice Scott, Inspiration with Alice Scott and so much more to come. So click the subscribe button. Thank you.